Hello everyone. Welcome to BMC Helix Business Workflows. I am Purva and I am an information developer at BMC Software. In this video, I am going to show how we can use business workflows to define different flow sets for managing assignments, case templates and so on. Let's take a use case for a requester who is an employee in Petramco company. The requester wants to raise a request for leakage in the walls and a case agent creates a case for him. The case agent proceeds with the case by defining a flow set, creating approval configuration and resolving the case by changing the statuses of the case. For this use case, first we will see how to create or define a flow set. Then we will go through different options under case management. Here we will define flow set for different options. In case approvals, we will see how to configure an approval. In case assignments, we will see how the case gets assigned to a particular department and assignee when auto assignment rule is set. In case templates, we will see how we can define a flow set for a case template and then see the example of how the case progresses through different status transitions. Let's see how to configure a flow set. Log into business workflows as a case business analyst. Go to settings and under manage flow sets, select define flow sets. Click flow set configuration, add the details for the configuration and click save. For this video, out of existing configurations, let's select facilities management as flow set. The status of the flow set is set to active. Now let's see how the flow set configuration works for different options under case management. From settings, select case management and navigate to case approvals. For case approval, we already have created a configuration called facilities approval. On the configurations details page, we have defined the parameters such that if the flow set is facilities management, then trigger an approval for the assigned status. Let's also see how does the approval configuration look. We know that the administrators can configure the approvals. The first step in the approval configuration is to register a record. Perform the registration with the basic data which is set by default. The next step in approval configuration is approval flows. In this step, we define different flows for the configuration. In the approval flows, we can add new flows. We can select the type of flow as level up approval flow or general approval flow. Level up approval flow indicates the approval hierarchy. It means up to how many levels of approvals will the flow go. General approval flow gives the list of approvers who can approve the case. In approval flows, we can see that we have a default BWFA group. For this group, we have created two different flows. First is Total Rewards Manager Approval, which is a level approval. The qualification criteria of the flow is Category Tier 1 equals to Total Rewards. So the approval will get triggered on Total Rewards. Second approval is a General Approval. For this approval flow, we have defined the qualification criteria as Category Tier 1 equals to Facilities. This means that anyone from the facilities group can perform the approval action. In this use case, from the list of options, let's select support groups and under support groups, let's select facilities as the support group. So all the members from the facilities can perform the approval action. Click the icon so that the selected support group is displayed and click save. The approval configuration process is now complete. Now let's go back to business workflows and case assignments. Auto assignment rule can be set and used when we are creating a case and not assigning it to any agent. In such cases, the case gets auto assigned as per the settings. From the list of assignment configurations, select facilities assignment. On the edit assignment configuration page, we can define the parameters for a particular case. Here, a case belongs to facilities management and the categories are facilities 
plumbing and walls. Assign the case to facilities department and the assignee of the case is Fabian. We can have different combinations for different assignment configuration. Now under case management, let's take a look at next option of case templates. From the existing case templates, select leakage and walls template. From the case details screen, we can see that the flow set assigned for this case template is facilities management. We have defined the categories and assigned the facilities support group to the case template. The case template has two different tasks. One is pipeline inspection and fixing. This is a manual task and the second is bill generation for plumbing work. Second task is an automated task. Let's see how are we creating a case by using the case template and end to end process of how the case flows. Let's create a quick case for the case agent Alan Border. Select the case template as leakage in walls and create a case. On the case details screen, change the case status to assign. With this case status change, the approval defined for the case template should get triggered. Let's see if that has happened. Now, we can see that the case has gone into pending approval state. Click show all to see who all from facilities department can approve the case. Let's approve the case by selecting an approver. We can also see that the tasks are not yet activated because the case is waiting for the approval. Let's log into approval console as Fabian, who is one of the approvers for the case. Select the case and we can see that the case is still in pending approval status. Click approve to approve the case. We can see that the case got approved successfully. Let's go back and check if the approval status of the case has changed. Now the case status is set to in progress and the task status is set to assign. Let's open this task and set this task status to completed. Select the status reason as successful and save the task. On the task details screen, click view case to see the case status. We can see that the case has been resolved. Let's see what is the status of automated task. We can see that the task has got completed successfully. This indicates that once the manual task is completed, the next task in sequence, which was an automated task was activated, ran successfully and it resolved the case. In this video, we went through the processes of defining and managing the flow sets for different options under case management. I hope this video helped you in understanding the case lifecycle right from new to resolved state by using approvals. Thank you for watching.